Hi everyone, I'm back. Yes, very unexpectedly. I know, I'm very sneaky. So um, what I'm gonna do is, um, well, why I'm doing a video now is because I have received a little bottle of silicone, Valeo Siliconi from Spain. And we're gonna test this one out. What I usually do is um, I buy uh, the silicone in bulk and the, it comes in liters. And as you know, everything that silicone touches you know it won't stick so when we put it in little bottles and then i have to import the bottles from china then i have to put that little drip thing in and half of the time they send the wrong drip things so i have lots of bottles not enough drip things and then they can't count in china because i i order two times 50 bottles and then i get 41 and 40 because it's very hard to count to 50. I understand but it's one pain in the uh, rear end so uh, Vallejo they first didn't want to do that because um, you know silicone doesn't match with the product they uh, put on the market but they're gonna do it so I think they're doing it to make my life a little bit easier and I love that okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna test this in um, the thicker paint. So I'm talking, let's see, who it's a little on the thick side. I'm talking about um, everything that comes in tubes and jars. So the Liquitex Basics and the Amsterdam Acrylics and the Windsor and Newtons and all that kind of, uh, all that kind of paint. So what I did for a pouring medium is, um, this is my own. This is the uh, PVA mix, which I uh, wrote down. And don't forget the flow trawl because, uh, silly me, I forgot the flow trawl, but it has to be flow trawl in there. So that one's okay. That one's okay. And of course I'll have a question, what is in that little bottle? There's water in the little bottle. See that? Water. So there's nothing magic. Just I'm thinning down the paint so that it is to the perfect consistency for pouring, which is it should stream off the stick like honey, like I say every single time. So streams off the stick like honey and it doesn't, you don't want chunks coming off, you don't want drips coming off because then it's not perfect. So this is the silicone and it has a nice little cap and a nice little drippy thing but i am very curious on how thick this is oh it's a little thinner than mine so i'm gonna put three little drops in every color now only two in this one because there's not much paint in here as you can see so usually i'd do three or four in a really big cup 180 milliliters and then i'll do less in a cup that is like half full but I get that question a lot too. They ask me, you know, um, how do I determine which color I put the silicone in? Well, you don't have to. Just experiment. Sometimes you want to put it in every single color. Sometimes you just want to put it in one color. It's all up to you. Experiment and surprise yourself. That's what I say. Well, this is a color, color combination I've never done before. This is Winsor & Newton Titanium White nothing to it just the white this is turquoise deep from Windsor and Newton and I put titanium white in there as you can see nice color this is uh, turquoise deep but less titanium and I put a little bit of phalo green in there just to get it a little bit to the green side so as you can see it's a little bit green that one's a little bit bluish then this is Prussian blue with a little bit of titanium to lighten it up because it was really, really dark. And we do want to have a little bit of contrast, but not that dark as the Prussian blue really is. So that's why I put a little in. So if you paid attention, what I've got here is four opaque colors because that's a question I also get. Do you put only opaque or do you put transparent colors? Well. In the beginning I said you know you, you should at least have two or three uh, transparent colors in there but we've debunked that because it works 
with all opaque and it works with all transparent and you know just have have fun just mix your paints what you like and pour it on okay we're ready we got the silicone in there we got our little canvas ready we got the palette knife ready so here's my cup and we are going to start with a little bit of white then nice dark Prussian blue then we're going to put in the lighter turquoise from up high so it mixes right in then we're going to do this one from up high and we're going to put another splotch of white in there and finish it off with the dark one there it goes now put that aside and there's another thing that I uh, I didn't discuss oops that went straight over the side but that doesn't matter we got paint plenty of paint I'm gonna torch it straight away I like the marbled effect that is really pretty and here comes the cells I would have liked a little bit more of the dark I would have liked the dark in there just a little bit more but we'll see so we're gonna let it slide over there slide back down and as you can see cells enough it's uh, sort of like I said I think silicone is silicone and doesn't matter which sort it is because it's all uh, water it repels water so I think it'll always work no matter what brand you have there it goes over the side and I want to help it a little bit along so I'm gonna put a little bit more paint on there and there it goes now I'm not really jumping up and down about the uh, about the colors but like I said I've never done it before these colors so I, I just wanted to try I'm fixing the uh, corners as we speak that's nice and of course there are cells but it's not that I'm thinking wow that is one beautiful pour nope not yet so absolutely gonna do something to it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swipe it down with white Oh, they are some awesome cells down here. The, those are really, really beautiful. You know, the ones I talked about with the double ring in them, they are really nice. Let me show you up close. But just this, this little bit here. Let me get you in here. Let's see. There you go. See that? They are nice, but... Oops, come on. Don't do funny stuff. They are nice, but you know, this is just testing this uh, silicone stuff. So what I'm gonna do is put two drops in the white extra because I'm gonna swipe it. And of course you always have to remember the silicone has a tendency to rise to the top because of the, uh, that it repels that water. So we're going to put that on here, get my big pellet knife. And we're going to swipe it right down, but very carefully. Ooh, that is, that is fun. Look at that. Like a, oops, a little bit of negative space. There it goes. Now we're going to torch it again but I'm coming up high because I want to see how how much those cells can grow yeah this is cool that's kind of cool and like I said, it's, it wasn't about the pour. It's more about experimenting with the, uh, experimenting with the uh, silicone. That's why I'm doing a swipe after. But I need a little bit more because I don't like this thing in it. I thought it would be cool, but now I don't really like it that much.
Let's do that one more time. Mm, that's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. I'll show you the cells up close. See that? That works perfectly. And on this side, there you go. Nice colors. Okay, now we've got to make it into something that we're going to keep. Let's see if I got a little cup here. Little cup, where are you? Okie dokie. Oops. Left you guys out of focus. Sorry. bit of white and a little bit of this color a little bit of that color and I am gonna give it a little swirly swirl oh yeah I was gonna tell you but I keep forgetting when you're doing the PVA mix what you'll see is that your colors will be pretty much very light but when this stuff dries, it's going to be darker. And why that is, is because the PVA glue is pretty white. Ooh, I like that. Wait a minute. The PVA glue is white, but it dries transparent. So while you're pouring, you'll see that it is uh, really light. It lightens up your paint. But the second that that stuff's dry, it'll be transparent. And that's why your colors are going to be darker because, oh, I love this. This is beautiful. I love that. And I kind of like that too. Wow. So that's uh, something you, um, when you're mixing paint, you'll have to keep a little bit in your mind that that's going to happen. I like this. Uh, yeah. I'm going to stop right here. I am going to do glitter because I haven't done glitter in a really long time but I want to show you this this is beautiful let me see look at that is that is that cool I love that look at that oops that is really cool I love this okay glitter it is Now I'm gonna choose, let's see, which one do we, uh, I think I'll go for the, uh, for the blue. I'm gonna put on some blue glitter. Let's see, get you guys back in focus first. That's nice, but I do, I want a little over this, um, over the ribbon thing. Let's see, someone had, had, they said something really interesting. Let me try that. They said they just take a brush, so I'll put some glitter in my hand, like that. And they put the brush in, like this. See that? Oops, already falling out. And then when they tap it, they can pretty much um, put it where they really want it. So that's what I'm trying. So this is a really cool tip. That's the fun of having a YouTube channel that people send you tips all the time that you can try. And as you can see, it works fine. Just a little bit more here on this one. Okie dokie. <laughs> Don't want too much because you know, putting too much glitter on there then it's going to be the glitter they're all looking at and it should be the painting it should just be a little addition but you can do whatever you want because I can imagine maybe just pouring it full with glitter would look really cool too but I like it like this just a little bit I like oh I really like how it's going over the sides that is gorgeous I can't hold it up I'll move again 
but there's as you can see here it's coming right over the side this here the same here a little bit less this side too but I love how this is coming over the side it's beautiful so let me get a um, let me put it away and then I'm gonna do a little squishy here and what I'm doing right now is very very dangerous I'm walking on the wild side because look at that I have a white blouse on <laughs> and I didn't change oh boy it's really one of my newest white blouses that because I just came back from work so I sure hope I don't do anything to it I'd like to keep it that's nice it works see that that is really nice pendant stuff really nice now I want one with a little bit of that darker color but first let's put white on there oops I'll get you in focus in a bit there you are a little bit of blue and I want the lighter color turquoise, not too much. Okie dokie, let's see, push it up here. Now this will, won't work because there's such a thick layer of dark on top that you can torch all you want, that's not gonna work. But as soon as you do this, then it works. There you go. I think I can take out here a little bit there, a little bit there. Cool. Okay guys, that was it. Just testing the silicone, now it works. So um, that will be cool for, for whoever's gonna order that silicone stuff. It'll be easier so that you can get all your stuff in one place, Dick Blake or Jackson's or whoever. So that's going to be cool. So thank you all for watching. Still got a lot of paint left over, but I'm not sure I'll do something to it or maybe not. Or wait a minute, let's just do something here. Because I'm not going to be pouring tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put that down there. This we're going to keep. I'm going to make a skin. I'm going to let this dry up. So, that's kind of cool. Oh, I've got a hole in the middle. Don't want that. And then we're going to come over with a little bit of dark. Ooh, it's not coming out like I hoped. That's a little bit. Okay, let's see what happens. Not really big, but there are cells. That's that. And I want to try one more thing. Thing. let's see let's put some more in there that's it stir it up
okay that's it I'm gonna leave this I'm gonna let it dry I kind of thought I'd get some more um, because I did some extra white I'd get some bigger bigger cells but that's not really working so I'll just uh, let's do this one more time a little bit down here okay that's enough okay can't hold it up can't pull, pull you guys down i'm still clean i have absolutely no paint on anything of this blouse so i'm gonna stop while i'm ahead and i'm gonna wish you all a, a really wonderful wednesday and have fun and i'll see you in the next video love you all to pieces leave all bye bye